Let's walk on the wise path. Have you ever had one of those moments where you walk into a room, meet someone new, or visit a place you've never been before, yet something feels oddly familiar? It's almost like your mind is playing tricks on you, giving you a sense of DJ vu. But what if it's not just a trick? What if those flashes of familiarity are tiny fragments of past life memories sneaking through the cracks of your consciousness? Here's the kicker. Many spiritual traditions believe that we've all lived before. Whether you believe in reincarnation or not, the idea that we carry the experiences of past lives in our souls is both fascinating and a little mind-blowing. So why can't we remember them? Why does it feel like these memories are locked up somewhere deep inside us, inaccessible to our current understanding? In this video, we'll dive deep into this mystery. We'll explore how the ego and karma work together to block these memories, and how we can start to unlock them through spiritual practices like meditation and self-reflection. And here's the best part. We'll also uncover the signs that your past life memories are actually hiding within you just waiting to be discovered. So, if you've ever wondered about the mystery of past lives or felt like there's more to you than meets the eye, you're in the right place. Get ready for a journey of self-discovery because by the end of this video, you'll have the tools to start uncovering your own past life memories and maybe, just maybe, unlock a deeper understanding of your soul's journey through time. Let's get straight to it. Why don't we remember our past lives? If our soul is eternal and has lived multiple lifetimes, why do those experiences feel so far away, like they're buried deep in the subconscious? Well, imagine your mind is like a massive library filled with books representing all your memories, not just from this life, but from every life you've ever lived. But here's the catch. These books aren't sitting on the shelves where you can easily grab them. They're locked in a dusty back room, hidden behind layers of security. Why? The answer lies within the ego. The ego is like the mind's security guard. It's there to protect your current identity. Think about it. If you suddenly started remembering every detail of your past lives, it could cause chaos in your sense of self. The ego creates boundaries that help you function in the present by focusing on your current life. It tells you, this is who you are now, and blocks out anything that doesn't fit that narrative like memories of previous lives. But that's not all. Social conditioning also plays a role. From birth, we're taught to see life as a linear experience, beginning at birth and ending at death. This conditioning reinforces the ego's grip, making it even harder to access those past life memories. It's like we're given a set of blinders that keep us focused on the here and now, unaware of the deeper, more expansive journey of the soul. However, just because those memories are hidden doesn't mean they're gone. They're still there, buried beneath the layers of the ego, waiting to be uncovered. And with the right tools like meditation and self-observation, you can start peeling back those layers and access the wisdom of your past lives. Now let's shift gears and talk about karma. We all know the phrase, what goes around, comes around. But karma is much deeper than just a cosmic system of punishment and reward. Karma is the invisible thread that connects all of our actions, thoughts, and decisions across lifetimes. And believe it or not, it's one of the reasons we can't remember our past lives. Imagine karma as a series of contracts you've made with yourself over your many lifetimes. Each time you made a choice, whether good or bad, it created a ripple effect that continues to influence your soul's journey. These karmic ripples shape the circumstances of your current life, but they can also act as barriers that prevent you from accessing past life memories. Why? Because your soul is busy trying to resolve those karmic lessons. It's like being enrolled in a course where you have to pass certain tests before you can move on to the next level. These karmic knots create patterns in our lives, repeating situations, relationships, or challenges that seem eerily familiar almost as if you've faced them before. And guess what? You probably have in a past life. But until those karmic lessons are fully understood and resolved, they act like fog, clouding your ability to remember where those patterns come from. The exciting part is, as you work through your karma, 
By making conscious choices that align with love, compassion, and wisdom, you begin to unravel these knots. It's like clearing away the fog, and suddenly you might start getting glimpses of those hidden memories. Karma isn't here to punish you. It's here to help you grow. And as you navigate this growth, you get closer to unlocking the door to your past lives. You might be wondering, okay, so how do I know if my past life memories are close to the surface? How do I know if they're hidden within me? The truth is, there are signs everywhere you just need to know what to look for. First up, DJ Vu. Have you ever experienced a moment where you swear you've been somewhere before, even though you know logically that's impossible? That sense of familiarity, that gut feeling of recognition, could be a sign that you're tapping into a past life memory. It's like your soul saying, hey, we've been here before. Then there are those unexplained fears or phobias. Let's say you have an intense fear of water, but you've never had a traumatic experience with it in this life. Where does that fear come from? It could be a remnant of a past life trauma, like drowning or being lost at sea. These irrational fears often point to unresolved experiences from previous lifetimes. How about strong connections to certain places, cultures, or time periods? Maybe you've always felt drawn to ancient Egypt, or you feel an inexplicable connection to the Renaissance era. These obsessions could be clues that your soul has lived through those times before, and it's trying to reconnect with those memories. Lastly, let's talk about talents and skills that come naturally to you. Ever pick up an instrument or a paintbrush for the first time and feel like you already know what you're doing? This natural talent could be something you've mastered in a previous life, and those skills are simply carrying over into this one. All of these signs, DJ Vu, phobias, cultural connections, and natural talents are like breadcrumbs leading you back to your past life memories. You just need to follow the trail. All right, we've touched on the ego briefly, but now it's time to dive deeper into how it actually blocks our spiritual awakening and by extension, our access to past life memories. The ego is like a tricky magician. It creates illusions, distractions, and false identities, all designed to keep you focused on this life, on the material world, and on your current self. Think of the ego as a master storyteller. It tells you who you are, what you should want, and what's important in life. But here's the catch. The ego's story is based on fear and attachment. It wants you to believe that you're separate from the universe, that your identity is tied to your job, your relationships, your possessions. This illusion keeps you stuck in a narrow view of reality, preventing you from seeing the bigger picture of your soul's journey. Now, why does this matter for past life memories? Well, the ego doesn't like change. If you suddenly remembered all your past lives, it would disrupt the ego's carefully crafted narrative. It would make you question your current identity, your current beliefs. And the ego is all about maintaining control. So, it does everything it can to block those memories from surfacing. The ego also thrives on distractions. It keeps you busy chasing material success, social status, and external validation. All these distractions act like noise, drowning out the quiet whispers of your soul. When you're caught up in the ego's game, there's no room for spiritual growth or the deeper understanding that comes with remembering past lives. But here's the good news you can start breaking free from the ego's grip. Through practices like mindfulness and self-observation, you can begin to see the ego for what it really is, a story. And once you see through the story, the real work of spiritual awakening can begin. So, how do we actually unlock these hidden memories? It's not like there's a magic switch you can flip to suddenly remember. All your past lives. Instead, it's a process, a journey of inner work that requires patience, self-reflection, and dedication. The two most powerful tools for this journey are meditation and self-observation. Let's start with meditation. Meditation is like a key that unlocks the door to your subconscious mind, the place where all your past life memories are stored. When you meditate, you quiet the constant chatter of the mind, the noise created by the ego, stress, and everyday life. 
This stillness creates space for deeper insights to emerge, and sometimes, these insights come in the form of past life memories. But don't expect to sit down for one meditation session and suddenly remember everything. This process takes time. It's like clearing out a cluttered room. Each time you meditate, you sweep away a little more dust, revealing what's hidden underneath. Over time, as you deepen your practice, you might start to experience glimpses of past life memories, whether in the form of visions, feelings, or sudden moments of clarity. Self-observation is equally important. This means paying attention to your thoughts, emotions, and reactions throughout the day. The ego is always operating in the background, shaping how you react to different situations. By observing these reactions without judgment, you begin to create space between you and the ego. This space allows you to see the patterns that may be tied to past life experiences. For example, if you find yourself overreacting to certain situations or people, it could be a sign that you're dealing with unresolved karma from a past life. Self-observation helps you identify these patterns, giving you the opportunity to break free from them and move closer to spiritual awakening. Karma, let's talk about it. We've already established that karma plays a major role in why we can't remember our past lives, but it's also the key to unlocking our spiritual awakening. You see, karma isn't just about what happens to us. It's about how we react, how we grow, and how we evolve over multiple lifetimes. Understanding and working through your karma is like getting a roadmap to your soul's journey. Here's how it works. Karma is essentially the law of cause and effect. Every action, thought, or decision you make sends out ripples into the universe. These ripples eventually return to you, sometimes in this lifetime, sometimes in the next. But here's the twist. Karma isn't about punishment or reward. It's about balance. If you've created imbalances through selfish or harmful actions, your soul will keep encountering situations designed to restore that balance. This is why you might find yourself in similar relationships or situations over and over again. It's your soul trying to learn a lesson, to break free from the pattern. Now, how does this tie into spiritual awakening? Well, the more you understand your karma, the more you realize that you have the power to change it. You're not stuck in a never-ending cycle of suffering. By making conscious, compassionate choices, you can start to dissolve the karmic knots that are holding you back. This, in turn, opens the door to spiritual awakening. Think of karma as a dense forest. At first, it seems like there's no way through, but as you make more conscious choices, you start clearing a path. And as the path clears, you begin to see the bigger picture you start to remember your past lives, understand your soul's purpose, and connect with a deeper sense of meaning. This is the essence of spiritual awakening. All right, now that we've covered the theory, let's get into the practical side of things. How do you actually start unlocking your past life memories? It's not about trying to force it or sitting around waiting for a magical flashback to appear. Instead, it's about creating the right conditions for those memories to naturally surface. Here are some steps you can take to get started. Meditation. This is the foundation. Start with a simple meditation practice, just 10 to 15 minutes a day. Focus on clearing your mind and letting go of any distractions. Over time, as your meditation practice deepens, you might start experiencing glimpses of past life memories. These could come in the form of vivid dreams, flashes of imagery, or even strong emotions tied to places or people. Journaling, keep a journal of your dreams and any strange feelings of familiarity you experience throughout the day. Dreams are one of the easiest ways for past life memories to sneak through, so pay attention to them. Write down any recurring themes, symbols, or emotions that come up. Over time, you might start noticing patterns that point to past life experiences. Self-observation. Throughout your day, make a conscious effort to observe your thoughts, emotions, and reactions. Are there certain situations or people that trigger strong emotional responses in you? These reactions could be tied to unresolved karma from past lives. By observing these patterns, you create space to heal and release them. Seek guidance if you feel stuck 
or unsure where to start, consider seeking guidance from a spiritual teacher, past life regression therapist, or someone experienced in these practices. They can help you navigate this journey and provide tools to access deeper memories. Remember, unlocking your past life memories is a process it doesn't happen overnight. But with patience, dedication, and consistent practice, you'll start to peel back the layers and connect with the deeper wisdom of your soul's journey. So why can't we remember our past lives? It's not because those memories don't exist. They're there, waiting to be uncovered. But the ego, karma, and social conditioning all play a role in keeping them hidden. The good news is, you have the power to unlock these memories by practicing meditation, observing your ego, and working through your karma you can access a deeper understanding of your soul's journey through time. The journey of spiritual awakening is just that a journey. It's not about reaching a destination or having all the answers right away. It's about peeling back the layers bit by bit and discovering the deeper truths that lie within you. And the best part? You're not alone on this journey. We're all walking the same path, trying to uncover the same truths. So, if this video resonated with you, take the first step today. Start with small, consistent practices, whether it's meditating for a few minutes each day, journaling your dreams, or simply observing your reactions to the world around you. Over time, you'll start to notice changes. You'll start to feel more connected to your soul, more in tune with the lessons you're here to learn. 